I'm talking to Breed Love's Angela Christensen. I'm Angela Christensen, and I am in charge of all the product development here at Breed Love Guitars, as well as all the wood purchasing. As product development manager, what does that exactly entail? So that entails um, all of the development of our guitars, both made here in the USA and um, all of our guitars uh, made overseas with our partner factory. Um, so everything from color development to specifications and with my job doing all the wood purchasing, I also um, have the vision of wood procurement and making sure that uh, as we develop new guitars that we have wood planned into that process. Because as you know, we care a lot about the forests and how we source our woods. Tell us a little bit about how you ended up in this position. How long have you been at Breed Love and how, how did this become part of your life? So I had the good fortune of learning about Breed Love guitars back in 2002. I had recently moved to Central Oregon to Bend, fresh out of the desert in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, and so when I moved up here, I heard about Breed Love guitars and I had an interest. I'm a woodworker. So that's really where it started. I, I stopped by the factory just kind of randomly one day looking for a job and um, was able to start a position here in the woodworking department. And that's really where it all began for me. You were building guitars and doing detail work, right? So I started at the beginning of the process um, bringing in raw wood, making sure that it was um, acclimated, dried uh, appropriately. I milled braces, I learned how to do all the wood selection for each guitar, um, was trained to do the bending, installing rosettes, bracing the guitar, basically the beginning of the process, uh, right before the guitar would be put together. So all the steps up to the top and the back being braced with sides bent, um, ready to put the body together. And I did that for Oh gosh, like the first four years working for Breedlove. I also had a background in jewelry. And so getting to see Kim Breedlove and what he did with the beautiful inlay work on the guitars uh, really intrigued me. And that was something I wanted to pursue. And so Kim was kind enough to kind of take me under his wing and um, teach me the ways of inlay. And so that was kind of my next endeavor, um, was getting into the craft of inlay um, artwork and installing inlay and guitars. I also, during that time, did purchasing. So purchasing all the components that went into building our guitars, um, as well as the wood sourcing. So I also started the wood purchasing back in around 2005. And from there, my goodness, it, it grew into um, when Tom Bedell purchased the company um, back in 2000, at the end of 2010, we kind of had a new breath of life to breed love. That opened a whole new door with wood procurement. Tom Bedell was really interested to know more about wood, where the woods came from. And so um, I started down the road of trying to learn more about where the trees are harvested and working with our suppliers so that we could do diligence on all of our wood supply so that we knew exactly where it was being harvested or how it was being salvaged and then how it's being processed and into parts for our instruments. From there, I also grew into product development for Bedell guitars. And so that evolved into Breedlove guitars and now I, I get to work with not only all of our builders here in developing um, specs for USA-made guitars, but I also um, travel and work with our factory over in China to um, develop our new instruments and make sure that quality is on track and everything's being built to our specifications. When it comes to designing a guitar, what would you say the biggest inspiration behind your Breedlove designs is? Having worked here for so long um there's a there is tradition for breed love um you know we're not the traditional instrument that you may think of in the industry but for breed love being around as long as we have there's our own traditions and so i like to pull from that and obviously have i can hear kim breed love in my ear at times with designs and and take to that inspiration but 
also with the wood, you know, wood is very inspirational for me. I, I love working with wood. And so I know the characteristics of working with different species, the bending and, and how that may lend to specific designs or how they best be used and inspiration and in, from nature, really, I, I'm an outdoor person and just love nature. And so a lot of the color work um, is inspired at times from you know, the outdoors and things that we see every day that may not appreciate. So expressing with color and and then fun aesthetics, you know, uh, learning about new materials, trying to to find new innovative ways and different materials to work with as well. Obviously, sustainability is something I know that's really important to breed love. Um, Mm -hmm. And as the wood purchasing manager, that's something that you're dealing with firsthand. Why is sustainability so important and how do you how do you make sure that you're you're focusing on the right things? Well, first, it's so important because, um, you know, we all want a future. I not only for ourselves, but I have two kids and I'd like to imagine that when they're grown, they would also be able to experience some of the forests that I've had the joy of getting to walk in um, from the redwoods to the Tongass up in Alaska there's just so many beautiful natural elements and unfortunately i think we all see how you know man can destroy very quickly those natural resources so it's dear to my heart for those personal reasons you know wanting a future for my kids of course but really for everyone and we know the trees are are the lungs of the planet right and so we need trees um, for clean air and if we don't take a part in making sure that at least the wood that we use is coming from a sustainable practice for harvesting and processing, you know, that's that's what we can do. And so that's important to us. And we all live by that here at Breed Love. Fortunately, we partner with people that care about it as much as we do. Is there a specific wood that was your favorite to work with or kind of most exciting to find and, you know, maybe had a story behind it? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I've always enjoyed working with, um, well, redwood has a beautiful aroma to it. So just as a woodworker, the the romance of working with it and the smell. Myrtle wood is, is a favorite. I do enjoy working with myrtle and not only because of the workability of it, um, but also from the sourcing point of view and the look of it itself. It has the most varying characteristics aesthetically than any other wood that we work with. Um, So myrtle wood is, it's a unique instrument every time you get one because they're all gonna look a little bit different. So I just love that variety, that natural variety and the grain and the figuring and character. As a designer, Um, Is there one build that maybe is the most interesting or is the most challenging design? You know, one of the most challenging, I have to say, and it's not going to be one guitar, but rather um, bringing sustainable wood sourcing into our guitars that are made overseas was the biggest challenge that I feel like we've had. Just that traceability and tracking wood back to its source is very difficult overseas. And so that was a huge project for us, being able to know exactly where all the woods are coming from that go into our guitars that are made um, overseas. As far as one of the most inspirational or or kind of challenging from a a design point of view, I find that working on customs with a a customer, right? So we we have the ability to to design one-off instruments with a customer directly that always feels like the most pressure because it's somebody's dream that you know is you're trying to make it come to life in the way that they envision it and there's always that pressure of hoping to exceed their expectations whatever it may be um you know with an inlay or just the sound that's always i feel like one of the most rewarding when you're done i'm curious some of those customers obviously a lot of really great musicians play breed loves are there any artists that you've specifically really vibed with or really enjoyed working with um, in the design and building process? Yes, there are a couple that come to mind. Um, Jeff Tweedy, we did a model for him uh, years ago. Uh, that was a really fun collaboration and I, I just enjoy him as a human being. 
Um, and likewise, uh, Jim James, we did a special guitar for him as well. So what's to come for Breedlove? Are there any models or projects or lines planned that, um, that you can talk about right now? <laughs> um, well, there's always something in the works, at least a few projects. We're trying to improve, you know, all aspects of the build process with um, sustainable and more earth friendly um, products that we use. Uh, one of those being a water based finish. And that's been a fun project we've been working on and trying to perfect so that we can roll that out um, here in our USA factory. With wood sourcing, I just kind of always have my ear to our vendors and learning about uh, new species that we may be able to test um, and just trying to stay ahead of things. So, Thanks so much for joining us today, Angela. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate the opportunity.